Second question is, were Gentiles ever under the law? And that, that question is really significant. But the question that I want to ask then to you is, what law? Because Gentiles were under the law with Adam. Adam was a Gentile and he was under a law. Don't eat of the fruit. With Noah, there were other laws given and the Gentiles were under the Noahic covenant and under the Noahic laws. And that covenant is an ongoing covenant. So Gentiles are still under that law. But when we talk about the law of Moses, there is not a single reference that you'll find that says that Gentiles are under it. The mixed multitude that comes out with Israel either gets absorbed in Israel or leaves Israel at that point. When they get absorbed, they become, in a sense, Jewish by their descendants. They themselves don't, but their descendants do. So, for instance, Ruth would be a good example. Ruth is called uh, four times a Moabite, even after her confession of faith. She takes on herself some of the laws, but it, it, def it never actually states that. But that would be a voluntary choice that she makes. So within the New Covenant, you see that in the book of Acts, where it talks about proselytes. And the rabbis talk about various kinds of proselytes, but generally it means that those who have taken upon themselves part of the commandments, but haven't gone the whole way. So for a man, that usually would mean that it would stop just before circumcision. Then it talks about converts who did go the whole way. They were voluntarily taking upon themselves the law of Moses. But generally, Gentiles are not under the law of Moses. It would be an exception, therefore, to the rule rather than the rule.